All right, let's try a walk around of this. The back end of this is dented, or I guess original condition for sure, looks like. And I guess meant for a work truck. Here's the bed. Looks like it could use those uh, either chrome strips or just new painted strips to get put in because those are kind of in bad shape there. And the wood itself is just looks like it's never been stained or anything, just old. Or they screwed in those uh, rivets or bolts. There's a scuff mark or a crack mark, real minor right here. Could probably get covered up maybe eventually if you wanted to work on that piece. There's the driver rear. So I did see this over winter. It's a hairline crack on the paint. There, there, and there. This is just dirt there. But there's the, I think, broken off piece there on the wheel. And this needs to get re-screwed until there's a gap and that causes this to flex off. It's either a bigger screw maybe or And this white right here looks to be that, uh, not rhino lining, but it's like that tougher paint you see on the bottom of even new trucks these days. Or it's supposed to protect against scuffs. So it could easily cover up uh, any imperfections, I would think. Here's the part I was talking about with the hood. But luckily it's the white section right there. There's a little heat vent. I'm try to get good lighting here. I believe this is the serpentine belt still on these. It's just off. My dad must have taken it off last time we got it going. There's a little run right here. I'll probably get wet sanded down. I'll close this out a little bit in a second. That doesn't look bad. That's just wheeze. right there that's part of the that's what technically a firewall patch maybe or section that's just more of that glue stuff on those windows or the top of the doors from what I can feel of it that residue Just dirty and pollen, or not pollen, but wood. That was bird crap.
So you can see with the hood closed, or not closed, but I guess very lightly on the bottom here. You can see how this needs to go back. Maybe, you, oh, there's my pinky right here. It's about a pinky width maybe? And then I'll take it back maybe an eighth of an inch of a gap, which I think is factory. I'm not sure how that vent works, but I believe that pops up or down maybe on the inside of the dash for your 1948 air conditioning. And that can actually get popped back in. Looks like it's never just been adjusted. It's probably just needs to, it's too snug probably on this side. It just needs to get pulled forward maybe a tad. Cause it looks like it's new at one point. The windows are in good shape. Glass. So I would replace the floors, which we have all the parts for, from like here, the battery tray forward, and probably just carry it up to your normal floors that you'd be repairing. And then this side's been patched at one point, and then that side still has the non-patch, so that needs a new patch to put in. But I'll just cut out the cancer there and throw the new panel. There's the uh, brake booster, that's new. Pedal assembly. The seat itself, here's two. One's a Shetland's manual, I think. Or, looks like just a Chevy manual and then another Chevy manual of the truck. Or that era of trucks. Cab okay, light. Yeah, so you can probably tuck that on. Just work with it a little bit. There's the window door area. There's the ground effects. There's that panel under the uh, gas tank. You can tell it's just like the other side where it had that screw that was too small. So it wouldn't flex. I probably just took out that uh, area right there. It looks like it's not caulk, but some type of material adhesive. But the panel itself looks to be good on both of them. That's just dirt. Pretty standard truck this old I think. Here's the exhaust. So it could, I would say you could probably easily reuse it if you wanted to. Here's the doors. So here's that adhesive which I think may have been from one of those window guard or bug protectors. That the prior owner maybe put on it at one point and then didn't like it and took them off. It's on styrofoam, so bear with me. <laughs> The windows are still there.
The very bottom of these doors, I think? Yeah. So the very bottom has that uh, like rhino lining that they did when they first painted this thing. You can tell like, it's, it's a straight line. You can faintly see it. You probably can't see it on the phone. It's a straight line where they put that extra adhesive or something for that protector. I guess for like a kick guard on the bottom of it or dirt guard or I'm not sure the actual term. You can kind of see it's just it's supposed to be like more bumpy there for that little strip. I think newer trucks have that as well. Hopefully I can come out decently. You can kind of see a faint line. And there's the uh, carb. Just got taken off when we were messing with it. And here's also a faint line crack. You can barely feel it with your finger. Like it's not chipping or anything, it's just a faint crack, probably from stress or something. Diamond plate. So at one point I'm assuming some brake fluid from the old drum or something. You can tell it's discolored on the bottom. So it's on the very top of the uh, rear end. Something was leaking down on that at some point. On both sides. And the gas tank's been moved. That's the gas tank right there. So it's on the passenger side of the bed. And that's pretty much it. And let's go to <laughs> all the various part pieces. So I believe those are two just extra floor mats. Looks like the original wheels to the hubcap trims. Uh, there's, an, I guess, the original uh, steering wheel center piece that would be the emblem. There's an actual pedal. More pedals. Not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that piece is there. Uh, not sure what that is either. Here's various door handles and window handles. Trim piece. There's probably the original uh, gas tank filter. And here's this is actually in really good shape. I'm assuming once this cleans up, uh, they be pretty visible. Instead of just dirt here. It's got a uh, 7,495 or 74,000, but I believe that's different on these trucks. There's an extra piece maybe for the radiator. Here's the factory uh, headliner visors. And then one has the rod still. That one does not, and that one's in worse shape, so I'm not sure where that piece is. There's, I'm assuming, what the prior owner had for his, in mind for the uh, visor replacements. I'm not sure what this piece is, but it's fairly heavy. Maybe a new window trim part of the brake assembly, I'm not sure. These are all brand new for the drum brake pieces. Here's the old hubcaps on the slots. They just need to probably get cleaned up a bit and then probably turn out pretty good. Here's the new parking brake assembly. Here's looks like the additional pedal assembly parts. I'm not sure if those, those are two of the same pieces. I'm not sure what they are exactly. There's maybe four or five pieces in there. I'm not sure exactly what that goes to. This came in the same box. Probably just the bolts for them. And here's, I believe, more brake caliper, maybe, for the drums with the springs, looks like. I'm not sure what these pieces are exactly, but there's four of them, so I'm assuming they are wheel cylinders or something like along those lines. And more parts that go with them for the grommets. Yeah, 
that's brake or parking brake assembly there again. And here's a new steering wheel center emblem. It looks like it just be dirt on that. And new grommets for the uh, pedal assembly. And the pedal assembly plate backing. And various parts I believe to put those together. Here's a pair of new Fenton headers for the factory uh, 235 engine. Never been installed for those. I don't believe that has a gasket or if it does it's just at the bottom of the box. Various I believe floor pieces. And this is the only one I guess they may have bought that from someone else or made that themselves. Here's a new battery tray piece which would go in there. Passenger floorboard, driver side. And I think this is that side that had that hole maybe as a replacement piece. Another piece. That might be the side actually. Uh, I believe these are original or at some point original door panel pieces. These are both the cardboard style, which I believe was factory. And these two are aluminum pieces, so I'm not sure if they're just going for an aluminum finish on part of the door for the door panel or what. It looks like they're spray painted black at one point. Uh, this would be the kind of like a kick panel carpet piece. And this carpet's actually in decent shape, it just needs to get vacuumed up. And these look to be the brake lines, brand new. Hopefully that comes up pretty good. Miscellaneous, original, looks like parts. And the, uh, probably the factory six volt wiring systems in that whole bucket, I haven't gone through it, it's pretty heavy. There's a piece here. Brand new. The brake fluid reservoir, a battery hold down retainer, a tray I guess on the bottom probably, yeah, probably fit right. Various nuts and bolts, looks like to be a, that sheathing that goes over those battery wires. This is the cab mount kit for Probably the battery tray. That's new. If you want to put it back to the cab, there's probably another plate for that. And not sure exactly what that piece is. It's almost like a sticky on the inside. Nuts and bolts. Probably for a boot if you wanted to put a floor shifter in there, maybe. There might be another piece for something. And I'm not sure. This might be your uh, glove box compartment itself, kind of think of it, if that can get opened. These are the, uh, or it looks like to be brushed aluminum for the cab pieces, so they go on the area of the floor, not to the floor, but the vertical pieces that you would be like a kick panel as you're getting into the vehicle. I'm not sure of this longer one where exactly that piece goes, but I'm assuming that would be similar, but these both, I measured it up, looks like it just plugs right in, and you just screw in the whole thing. These are the under cab uh, frame mounts, and this may be a firewall in the engine bay where it goes over the wiring maybe, from what I can tell. Looks like maybe something like that, or like that maybe running down the wheel well. I haven't lined that up to see where that would go. An extra radiator cap. More miscellaneous parts, and that's another door handle, another wiring piece, more brake components, wheels. Oh, 